So Graham, I mean, we don't like to talk about managers possibly on the brink of losing their jobs, but in this situation, um, we have to look at it. It's now a run of six consecutive league defeats, making it the worst start to a season since 1983-84. They've conceded 22 goals so far. So after the international break, Leicester will be back, but will Brendan? Uh, as you stated, I, I hate talking about managers losing their jobs, but I think there's a real risk of that. I think, um, although in recent history, you know, Leicester have been a fabulous football club. Um, they have dropped off considerably. The, the pace considerable in, in terms of the quality that, that they now have um, but in saying that there are far better a far better group of players than what they're showing right now and ultimately that's down to the manager you know you're given a group of players to work with you you spend a few years there you add to it they then become your it becomes your team um, but this team are underperforming and mm. it's Brendan's job to get the best out of this group of players and you have to say right now that is not happening so I think he's at real risk and when you go away and lose 6-2 and that's six six consecutive games have lost six that, consecutive league you know, defeats in, in the Premier League today that is I don't think he's enough money in the bank to goodwill in the bank to to get him out of that I mean Sam when you look at it after the break mm. Leicester have got a, a reasonable run of yeah, fixtures yeah of Palace Leeds and Wolves yeah that's it the four of them you say that of only on paper Leeds. Only on paper. Only on paper. Only on paper. But well, true. Are, but I mean, for but a start, do, you, do you pull the trigger now? Is what I'm saying. Look, I mean, I listened to the interviews that Brendan did after the game. I also listened to James Madison, who I thought was a very mature interview, um, and a little bit of deflection away from the manager and onto the players themselves, which I like to see every now and again because it isn't always just the manager. Sometimes the players have to take some responsibility as well. I listened to Brendan, and I think there's a time for feigned diplomacy um, and dignity. I listened to him. I thought, "You're done. You won't be done just now, but you're done." Um, and I don't think they'll pull the trigger during this break because I think they've got Forrest, which is ir an irony because yeah. Forrest was the starting of the rock when Brendan Rodgers started to decamp a little bit and talk about the nature of this group of players needed to be broken up, the attitude inside the dressing room was wrong, and I felt that that was a weak position from Brendan Rodgers because ultimately they were defending their cup against a championship side in Nottingham Forest, and it was his responsibility to have got his players into a position to be able to play that game. I, I listened to him and I thought, yes, it's nice to hear that you're not going to allow and excuse me Jim I know you'll probably get a little bit bristly about this you're not going to allow journalists to create headlines out of your emotional outbursts of, the, of your feelings of entitlement that you should have or your robustness of an answer I think there's a there's a there's a, a balance between accepting responsibility and being diplomatic and not sensationalising the opportunity for the media to turn it into what it's going to be which is a witch hunt for Brendan Rodgers because of the six games they've lost against the defiance of a manager that looks like he's got his shoulders back and his chest out and isn't potentially accepting it. I think this is a different Leicester City than the one that Brendan Rodgers thought he was coming to manage. I think the ownership model has slightly changed their agenda and I think Brendan wants to go. And I don't think Brendan's going to position himself in such a way that ultimately he goes. I think his contrition, his balance, his, his, his sort of dignity in the interview which was very low level was I accept the reality of football I accept the consequences of, my, of the performances that are ultimately my responsibility I accept the fact that six games get beaten in the way that we are 5-2 against Brighton 6-2 against Tottenham leads to a conclusion this is football I would just like to see a little bit more a little bit less of the diplomat and a little bit more of somebody that was up for the task so I don't think he is going to get done in this break but I think he's done I think that maybe he'll survive to get to play against Forest, and maybe he'll survive to play against Bournemouth. But I think the bigger picture for Brendan Rodgers is his time at Leicester's done. But what so, would be the point in them waiting? Because maybe they haven't invested enough time in looking at an alternative. Maybe they're not as indexed to the situation as they once were. Maybe they're not as decisive. You know, they let the Claude Puel situation develop, and to the, you've got a fan base which is becoming ambivalent and disinterested in Brendan Rodgers in the same way they were very disinterested and ambivalent and actually dissentful towards Claude Puel and it's starting to build. Um, so I think that they'll perhaps, because of the currency that we suggest he's got, and not the six games, but Forrest and Bournemouth, if you come out of those games without very much, then you'll be done. Do, yeah. you, think, do you think he wants out? Is that is Simon saying that, he, like, Brendan's had enough? There is an element to his... Um his interviews where he's saying, come on, put me out of my misery. That, 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 I think that yeah. comes across. Yeah. I think, you know, how long has he been there? Has he been there four years now? Three. Two and a half, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two and a half years. Yeah. You know, so it was a much coveted job. That job was a job that a lot of people, yes. both in, yeah. who were in position, 
managers of other clubs and people who are out of work wanted that job. That was, you know, a much sought after job. I mean, he walked out of Celtic to take that job. Um, and he said a couple of windows to to get put his own stamp on it. Okay, the, the, the drawbridge has been drawn up somewhat in, in terms of spending because of the the tragic death of their, their owner. Mm. But I would still say that it's his it's his team, it's his group of players, and and um, this group that of players group, are better. Than that, that group that, that, of players yeah. are not. And they should be for me that group of players he's got right now are a team that should be midway looking up, not not a team midway looking down, and certainly not a, a team sitting at the bottom of the table. And that ultimately comes down to the manager. But that that is the buck stops with you. And you, when you when you sign a contract, you know that the buck stops with you. February twenty nineteen was when he took over. So, so three and a half years. Yeah. Are, are, are you basically both of you saying? the club will go on but Brendan shouldn't now go on with them um, look I mean you can always write a ship but I don't think he's got the stomach for it I don't think he's got the desire for it I think he constantly wants to manage he's a great manager of the media and a great manager of people's perceptions of him and I like him for it because I think there's something to be said for it but if I'm in a situation where I need um, someone in the trenches I want someone that looks like they're going to lead Yeah. and I don't think Brendan is embodying that and, Trev- um, and Graham is absolutely right this is his side. They they sh- they showed the telltale signs of an erosion last year because they were poor in Europe. They were at times poor in the league, um, and I think that uh, ultimately Brendan has to take the the bulk of the responsibility for it. Yeah, it might be interesting to get the odd call from uh, Leicester fans. Obviously, it's not a subject that you really ideally want to talk about at any time about whether or not your manager should carry on, but. Where is your head this morning regarding Brendan Rodgers? Uh, after the international break, uh, Leicester up against Nottingham Forest, at home to Nottingham Forest. Give me a call on that. Do you think Brendan should still be the man to take you forward? 03717 2233448189. And ironically, it is Forest next. So will Cooper be there by the time we all come back? We're back after this. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.